Do you like anime? Do you like Japanese inspired things? Do you like clothes? I'm sure you like to stay warm. Well, I got this stuff for you. Introducing Imori.com, a website that introduces anime and Japanese inspired styled clothing made in house. And you can use the code Uchi15 to save yourself 15% off of all these cool, dope hats, beanies, hoodies, t shirts, sweatpants, and way more where that came from. That's Uchi15 at checkout to save yourself 15% off your entire order at imori.com. What's up, everybody? <gasps> it's your boy Uchi. And, um, yeah. Once again, how y'all doing today? We have the Green April Episode 4 Tower of God. Last week was pretty good. Um, they were setting up for basically all this really exciting um, stuff to happen. And there's like an anticipating feeling in the air, especially now that Rachel is literally involved. So we're going to see what that's all about. And I feel like once she does get involved, I feel like, like I said last week, she's not going to hesitate if Bam tries to, you know, like talk to her or anything like that. And Bam's actually probably most likely going to be distracted and this is probably gonna be the most distraction we'll ever see him um, get but i'm taking a, a gander that we're definitely gonna be getting some more action this this week's on this week's episode so without further ado guys let's just get <laughs> Do you like Attack on Titan, Dragon Ball Super, Dr. Stone, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Well, those are just a few of the several different hundreds of anime selections that you can watch for free with my trial code for Funimation Now. All you gotta do is click that link in the description below and check out Funimation Now for a free 14-day trial period to enjoy all of these anime and many, many more. That's Funimation Now by using the link in the description below. Yup, he's already freaking out. <laughs> yeah, this this guy's gonna be in his feelings like the whole episode. <laughs> I'm telling you, he's gonna be like one of my favorite characters if he's not already. Oof. They cannot go resting in anyone's rooms, even their own, or they result in a DQ. And no, not the ice cream. <laughs> I love the nods to Bruce Lee. Hot looks like he is related to the one character from Demon Slayer. Just how he carries himself and the pattern in his like belt john that he's wearing around his waist, like very reminiscent. Also the color scheme of his outfit, really. So wait, are they having multiple teams now at once? It looks like it. I mean, I feel like the dude that is always sleeping is probably gonna be one of everyone's favorite character just for the sake of the fact that he's always sleeping he's probably gonna be like od that's just how that works that character looks like uh they belong in promise neverland Ooh. oh he's cutting through his blade hey cut through all right four eyes what do you got oh snap oh oh my man can fight too he, he smacked the shit out of her <laughs> See, even though he's like the joke character of this show, my man can hold his own. Like, yo, good stuff, man. See, we need more people like him. Oh, I saved him. Oh, okay, we're finally gonna see what this guy's all about. His name is LaRue. He said he can take the crown from that chick. Just get them, get the teammates away from them, from her. He said, leave the rest to me. Wow, she was asleep the entire time? He's a wave controller? What the hell is that? He can use Shinsu. Yo, I like how his sword is reacting to like other people that are strong or weapons that are really strong. Oh, here comes that whip. Ignition. Damn, the way she brought that out and said that reminds me of like Bankai's. Yeah, like his weapon is really reacting to that ignition, John. I wonder if the weapon is the one that's like kind of like in control of her. Yeah, it's like almost like possessed, it seems. So they're running away because they feel like something's about to happen. There's no need to die over a bonus game. What the hell's about to happen? Oh no. She is saying, Why do you have the black march? Well, she already they lost. She got disqualified. She's off that throne. Yeah, they definitely got disqualified. That's why. One of the 13 month series forged by master craftsman Ashul Edwaru. Legendary weapons. Of course, her weapon is the one of the 13 month series. That's the Green April. So there's 12 other ones, and Black the Black March is one of them too. So I'm guessing we're about to see the other 11 
Quick maths. Ooh, the instructor stopped that shit. For the green April and the black March. Oh man, what are they trying to wage? If your team survives until the end of the crown game. Oh snap, she's gonna give up the green April. And if, naturally, if they don't, then he has to give up the black March. Damn, she's literally putting him in a really tough predicament because she plans to kill him if he don't agree to the terms of the bet. And he don't want to do it. So, I mean, that's kind of crazy. And he snatched that crown real quick. So now the crown game will, will resume. Okay, so I think this is the part where we see Rachel and them versus Bam and them. I feel like. What's she mouthing to her? I bet you Rachel's team, they got the 13 month weapons too. Oh, what's, what's wrong with calling an imposter an imposter? All right, here comes the third round. Oh, who's this? Well, it looks like my prediction was completely off. So they got four teams out right now. So then that means that the last team is going to be Rachel. Rachel's team. It has to be. They're going to save the best interaction for last. Ooh. Oh, he already freaking got the crown. That was quick. <gasps> he put the crown in his freaking bag. Why would he do that? Oh, he's pompous. He said, what fun would that be? This guy's insane. Oh, he got like the villager ability, game and watch ability, absorb projectile attacks, probably unleash them back. Nah, nah, chill. Now nah, he's saying a fight amongst yourself. What is he doing? Yo, Kuhn is ridiculous. He's mad reckless. But hey, I mean, it's kind of smart. Not gonna lie. Because if they all take each other out, then that thought process is pretty, uh, pretty wise, I, I guess. And then just clean up the scraps once they're all like exhausted and there's no stamina. What the hell? How did he? I wonder what does the, okay. His bag must have some crazy abilities in order to absorb energy johns and to possibly duplicate things as like decoys it's kind of ridiculous if that's what his bag can do it's a pretty crazy bag all right well that's it so yeah i mean this this episode was definitely action-packed i was right about that i was wrong about a couple of things as far as when the order of the participants would be and i because Honestly, I pretty much forgot that there was like a whole bunch of other teams, but that's on me. That's my bad. But at least what they're how they're setting it up is actually a lot better than I what I predicted. So that's a, another plus, especially now that we're going to get to see Rachel and her gang fight next up because I mean, this was pretty much over. The pacing is very fast in the show, so it's pretty dope that they were able to have a whole quarrel amongst four other teams just now. And it showed off how Kuhn is crazy. Like this man literally went in, grabbed the crown, took on all these teams by himself for the most part. And then made them believe that they were fighting over a crown when realistically he had it the entire time. So it kind of just shows, shows you how OD Kuhn is. But we didn't even get to see Rack fight because Rack was like, yo, I'm bored. Like, come on, you're having all the fun. And what's going to be even more interesting is that Bam is the one sitting on the throne. So therefore, he's not probably going to have any kind of real close head-on action right now because he's going to have to sit still while watching Rachel go off on his teammates. So it's going to be very interesting. And if he loses, he has to give up the Black March to the other green lizard chick now that's kind of crazy if you ask me and it and it kind of gives it a whole like you know very interesting element of surprise if we're gonna see some kind of surprise happen because something tells me that rachel's team is going to win this and honestly i feel like rachel's team winning this would make the most sense because what would be of the show if the main character got right up all the way to the tower of god instantly because isn't that not the point of this bonus mission is that if they're able to win they literally skip all the other levels and they just go straight up and rachel's goal from the beginning has been to just go straight up so that gives bam more of a purpose and a reason to even you know get there in the first place because that would kind of defeat the <laughs> entire purpose of the show if bam doesn't go chasing after rachel because i mean let's say if they did win and they kept the crown and they were the one they, they had the option of you know getting you know skipping all the way up to the top i feel like if that was to happen bam would would literally just be like there's no point in being up here because rachel's down there so he would still kind of go after rachel knowing that she was a part of this game you know right now so yeah i mean now that i said all that out loud it kind of seems like either way we're gonna be in for a really freaking enjoyable show so I'm, I'm really looking forward to episode five of tower of god and no unfortunately guys i must update you on my manwa reading i, I literally haven't had a chance to update uh my 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 manwa chapters as far as tower of god goes i'm still literally like on the middle of chapter four which is like well behind everything that's going on right now but the good news is i i, I at least beat final fantasy 7 remake so my life is somewhat getting back together
But in all in all, I want you guys to definitely uh, let me know your thoughts and concerns in the comments below. If you guys look forward to the next episode, we got this one and the characters so far. Uh, who your favorite characters are, why, why they're your favorite, and are you looking forward to seeing the other 11, 13 month weapons? Because they, they kind of give me some like low key weak vibes, low key, but not entirely. With all that said, like, share, subscribe, hit me on Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure you are checking out my links in the description for further support with your boy here on the channel. And I'll share it first. Take care of yourselves, be proper protect you, have a good one. Stay clean, stay safe, stay fresh, and stay inside. I'll see y'all.